my review for the Star Wars Rogue One trailer. So, uh, in case you don't know, Rogue One follows after the events of Episode 4, and it follows a group of people that are trying to figure out what the Death Star is, because the Rebellion doesn't know what it is, and they are trying to figure it out because they want to stay ahead of the Empire, obviously, and it's the whole movie is just about them figuring out uh, what the Death Star is, and a ton of stuff goes down. I don't know much about it because obviously I haven't seen it. I'm just here to review the trailer. So, the trailer dropped uh, during the Olympics. I was actually not watching the Olympics. I was seeing Florence Foster Jenkins, which I will be reviewing. But once I came home, I immediately watched it, and I gotta say, I love this trailer. It's not really the that well of a put-together trailer. To be honest, it's not the best made trailer, but there is personally enough fan service for me to enjoy it. So, uh, what I like definitely, what I like most about the movie is it looks to be a very, very well shot movie. Like, a lot of the shots, a lot of the cinematography just looked great. A lot of the photos I would like hang up on my wall as a poster, especially the shot of uh, Vader at the end, which I'll get to talking to in a little bit. But yeah, there were just a lot of shots that I thought looked really, really good. And I also thought a lot of the action also looked pretty awesome. Uh, the, there looked to be a lot of action, which is what I was expecting in this movie. Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens was not a very action-heavy movie. That one was more focused on the story, and in the trailers, they didn't focus heavily on the action. And in this one, it looks like they have a lot of action in it, which I actually prefer because this is this is a very intense story. After all, you know that most people, uh, if not all of them, won't make it out of it. You know that probably most of the characters in this film will die just because that's probably how it's going to go down. It's a small group of people against an army. And... I really like that approach to it. It's almost like 300. It's it's a small group of people trying to uh, attack a giant thing, trying to f just figure stuff out, which I'm really looking forward to. And I also, uh, also just Vader at the end. I love how they didn't try to put him at the forefront. They just briefly showed him. Yeah, it was enough fan service to... Uh, to make me excited, as well as it wasn't forced into the trailer. It felt natural to show there. So I did really like those aspects of it, and overall I do really like this trailer. There are, I do have a few issues with it. Um, they do attempt at some comedy, and while like maybe a joke works, most of it doesn't, and that, that really messed with the balance of it, and I had a hard time with that. And also, a lot of the characters are coming off flat to me. I don't know why, I can't necessarily put my finger on it, but a lot of them are coming off flat, so I'm hoping that they that it doesn't turn out like that at the end, but overall, I really, really like this trailer. Um, I cannot wait for Rogue One to come out uh, this December. Yes, this December. Cannot wait, I'm probably going to buy my tickets right away. So, I will give this Star Wars Rogue One trailer a 7.5 out of 10. Not the best put together trailer, but still a very, very fun trailer. Alright, that concludes my review. Uh, let me know what you thought of the trailer down in the comments. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.